Hello friends, welcome back to another video. As you can see, we are doing something a little different today and that's because we're looking at my book covers today. We're going to be comparing hardback to paperback, Ingram Spark to KDP and all the different variations therein. So let's start by looking at one of the most popular methods of getting your book and that's through Amazon KDP. Here we have the hardcover and the paperback and these are what you're going to get from Amazon KDP. You'll know that they're from Amazon because they actually print this. This is not tape. This is actually printed onto your cover and it says not for resale so you know that this is just purely for you to look at as your proof copy thankfully nothing else inside is going to be blacked out or anything it's just the cover all right so let's look at the hardcover first so the first thing I notice about this hardcover is it turned out super super well everything is where it should be you can see everything goes to the edges just like they should and you do have to a book cover designer will help you but they know that it needs to wrap inside so there's about an inch or so overlap on a hardcover which you do not have when you have a paperback as you can see, the hardcover overlaps and the paperback does not overlap. So I'm really happy with the way this hardcover turned out. Everything is super clear, legible, the colors are bright. The spine, everything is centered and I have which book in the series it is because I really like when books do that. So I did that, has my name down here and of course the title. And then on the back, what they're going to do is I have an actual barcode, but what they do is they cover it because it's not for resale. So they cover it with this little barcode so that if you try to sell it or scan it out, it's not going to be valid. Anyone who sees this knows that this book is not for sale. So the only imperfection I really see on this book is it's a little crushed on the side right here. And I'm not really sure what happened there, if it was just shipping or if something happened, but I'm sure not all books are going to be like that. I also went with the matte copy because I really love matte books. The only thing about matte that some people don't like so much is that it does show fingerprints. So you can see some of my fingerprints back here on the black. You can you can still wipe them off and it's no problem. I just really like the look of a matte book, so that's what I went with, and I think it turned out really well. So for the paperback, it's basically the same. You can see everything is to the edges, it's all the same. And I did go ahead and stick with six by nine for both of my books, but as you can see, they are not the exact same size. That's because, again, they have to wrap over a little bit, and you can see that we do not stop at the edge of the book. A hardcover will go past, but a paperback will be flush. It will stop exactly where your pages stop for the cover. So even though these are both six by nine books, they are different sizes. I think the color quality of both of these is very similar. Some things look a little brighter than others, but obviously it's on completely different material that they're printing on. I'm not sure exactly what they print on, but this is obviously much different than this. Again, we have the spine and you'll notice again, there's this little crushed part on it. And I'm really not sure if that's just something that happened to the proof copies, if they didn't pack them properly. So I wouldn't imagine all books are like this, but I did notice this on both of my Amazon KDP books. Again, they cover the barcode. You do have this not for resale, but everything looks really good. Everything goes to the edge like it's supposed to. This is centered. I think it turned out really, really well. So now for the interior of the book, we'll look at the prologue. So I think everything is really clear. I do have chapter headers that you can see. I feel like they're maybe slightly very very slightly blurry but you can still make out exactly what it is which is three roses I also decided to do custom scene breaks so what I did I went with a sheaf of wheat and when you look really closely I feel it looks a little blurry but when you pull it further away I feel like you know exactly what it is so to me this is not something that I'm upset about. But I feel like all the pages look very nice. Everything is centered properly. The margins are good. Everything is there that I would want to be there. So I'm really happy with the layout interior of the KDP books. I also went with a map inside and I love how that turned out. I believe what I did was just upload the photo and then allow for a bleed on all the pages so that as you can see, it does go past the margin, but you can still see the entire map. All right, now for the Ingram Spark books. So let's start by looking at the paperback. So this paperback to me is very beautiful. As you can see, everything goes to the edge, just how it's supposed to. It's very bright and vibrant. Compared to the Amazon KDP, I feel Ingram Spark is much brighter and clearer and crisper. So I do like this more. However, if you'll notice these little 
bubble looking things right here, just discoloration here. The cover is actually tearing apart a little bit here. So it's splitting from whatever it's connected to from this paper and it's creating these little bubbles around the edge. So you can see along the top, we also have that. But with Amazon KDP, whatever material they use, you do not have that issue. So while it is quite beautiful, I think it has a slightly lower quality than the Amazon KDP books. But looking at the spine, everything is beautiful on the spine. We have my title, we have the book number, and we have my name. They look different in thickness for sure. It's the same amount of pages, but the Amazon KDP is thicker. Now looking at the back, even though these are author proof copies, you'll notice that we do not get that do not resell on the front and you do get your barcode on the back. So I guess technically you could sell these. But again, everything is centered, everything is to the edge, everything looks beautiful. Now for the Ingram Spark hardcover. So everything over here is looking good, but you'll notice there's a large black line that goes down here and it cuts it off. And it's not that my design stops here because if you look at the Amazon KDP, look at these flowers. I still have a design that would go further. My design should be covering this space here. Now, because my cover is so dark, it's something that I am able to live with if there's this black mark here, because to me, it's not glaringly obvious. I didn't even notice it at first but if you have a much lighter cover it's probably something you're gonna want to figure out with Ingram Spark but again this is very high quality it feels like a slightly different material than Amazon KDP but still very high quality and looking back at the paperback I will show you the inside as you can see the margins are good we have all the correct interior everything is clear nothing is blurry to me again looking at that chapter header to me, it almost seems a little clearer. It is a bit thinner than the other one, but I feel like I can see it a little better. Here's a comparison of the chapter headers. This one is Amazon KDP, and this one is Ingram Spark. So this one seems a little thicker, maybe a little blurrier. This one's a little thinner, but to me, this is something I can definitely live with. I'm not upset about this at all. Now that we have the pages open, you can see the differences. There's really not much of a difference in color on the pages. I went with cream color, so I think they're both really beautiful cream colors, and I really don't see much of a difference. This one might be a little bit lighter. Obviously these pages are thinner so you can see the words on the Ingram Spark book behind it a little more than you can see them on the Amazon KDP book. So which books do I like more? Which ones would I go with again for the next book? Let's look. All right, again, this one is the Amazon KDP and this one is Ingram Spark. Based on the hard covers, I would 100% go with Amazon KDP. It was much easier to upload. I didn't have to get a hold of customer support. If I needed to make any changes, I would just go in and make the change. If I wanted to make the change for this, it would cost me $25. If I needed to make a change here, it would be free. So obviously Amazon KDP wins that one. Now you may be able to have them get you a promo code that would waive the $25, which they did for me because it was uploaded correctly and I needed to re-upload it in a different way from what the website said. So they did give me a free promo. So I'm trying my best to fix this, but no matter what I upload, it still looks like this. So I don't know how much effort I want to put into trying to figure this out when it's good enough. It's not as good as this one, very clearly. Amazon KDP wins with the hardcovers. Now for the paperbacks, again, you'll know that this is Amazon KDP because it says not for resale, and this is Ingram Spark. This one is obviously much brighter, crisper, clearer. If you look at details such as the snake, you can see many more of the scales here. They're clearer, the flowers are brighter, the color is brighter. It just looks crisper. The only thing is whatever material they use is less quality than Amazon KDP. It's starting to peel on the edges and bubble up and I'm really not a fan of that. This one also was not as complicated to upload as the hardcover. So, I mean, as you can see here, the Ingram Spark one is correct, whereas the Ingram Spark hardback is not correct. I did upload two different files, so please don't think that I uploaded the same exact file. I uploaded whatever they said that they needed. They give you a template, I send it to my cover artist, and then the cover artist works within the template for the cover for Ingram Spark. So that's what my cover artist did. It still didn't work. Work. But as for the paperbacks, even though I think that Ingram Spark did a much more beautiful, crisper job, I think I would still go with Amazon KDP just for the fact that, you know, I am the only one who's had this. It was shipped to me, and obviously I've thumbed through it a few times, but I'm not 
giving it a lot of use. I've only had it for a couple months and it's peeling really badly. And this one seems like it's going to hold up much, much better. It also has thicker pages, which means that the pages won't tear as easily the more that you use it. And it's just gonna hold up a lot longer. There's also the fact that Ingram Spark is much harder to work with. It costs more money. It's going to cost you a lot more money in the long run. One, it costs you money just to upload it. And then if you need to make changes, it costs money again. I believe it's $50 to upload it in the first place and then if you need to make changes every time you make a change whether it's the cover or the interior it's $25 every single time whereas when you upload with Amazon KDP it is free to upload and free to make any changes you need so for me Amazon KDP is the clear winner here their customer service is great as you know my book comes out June 14th which is just one week away and Amazon KDP has been emailing me monthly weekly and in the last couple weeks they've been emailing me daily to make sure that I know that four days before it's published, which is June 10th, that my book needs to be fully done. If I need to make any changes, I have until the 10th. They're very communicative, which I like. Ingram Spark has not sent me a single email to remind me of the publication date. While I do believe that you should remember what date your book is being published, sometimes people have a lot going on. They can have multiple books coming out and the daily reminders is very, very helpful for Amazon KDP. So which would I choose? Which would I do next time? I would say Amazon KDP. KDP. Now, if you want to know why someone would ever use Ingram Spark, there is one clear advantage here, and that's if you want to do pre orders for print copies. If you upload books onto Amazon from Amazon, you will only be able to do pre orders for your ebook, which is very frustrating if your audience loves print books and they want to be able to pre order your novel, if you're doing some sort of a giveaway or whatnot with that, or they really just want to jump on there and support you as soon as possible. So not only is Ingram Spark a print on demand company, but they will distribute your book to many areas. So if you upload to Ingram Spark, your book will appear on Barnes and Noble. It will appear on walmart.com, on Target, on Amazon, if you so choose. So if you want your book in a lot of different places, uploading it onto Ingram Spark is what you're going to want to do. If you upload onto Amazon through Ingram Spark, Amazon will then allow you to do print pre-orders. I've gotten that question from a lot of other authors asking how the heck was I able to do print pre-orders? And that's because I uploaded onto Ingram Spark. So even weighing the pros and cons of each, whether you wanna do pre-orders for print books or distribute to more places or just have higher quality novels or maybe you just don't wanna to have to pay to upload. For me, the winner is 100% Amazon KDP, but I can see why you may still want to go with Ingram Spark. I still haven't decided with book two which route I'm going to go. I probably will just stick to KDP, but we'll see. So there you have it, my comparisons of Amazon KDP to Ingram Spark in both the hardback and the paperback versions. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more bookish and writing related videos. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.